Hello and welcome, my name is Ahiro and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Cells 4 where we are playing as the Ottomans and we are of course playing in the newest expansion Mal Nostrum. And in the last video we went to war with the Mamluks and it ended up biting us in the ass that we declared the war before regaining our manpower. And we're now in a situation where although we have, I think by now, exhausted the Mamluks uh, manpower, we also uh, are up to f 21 mercenaries ourselves. Can support them, but it's still very expensive. But I thought before we attack into this, risk uh, them reinforcing with this, let's just make sure that we actually do have the advantage. So I'm gonna do a full consolidation and then we're gonna hire some mercenary cavalry as well. Just a couple. Uh, probably some mercenary infantry as well. And just, just make sure that we have the proper advantage before we attack. Okay, military reforms! The reign of Mehmet I and Murad II saw the Ottoman Empire reunified after the crushing defeat it had suffered at the hands of the Temelan. The military was expanded and reformed to match any potential threat and ensure further expansion. It was also during this period that the Ottomans started to realize the vital importance of a strong navy. So we can gain a Grand Army Reform with 10% combat ability for 20 years. We can create a Great Army and Naval Reform where we only get 5% but we also get combat ability for galleys. Or just galleys. Definitely infantry. Definitely, definitely, definitely infantry. 10% extra damage for infantry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That'll help us out so much in this war. Go down there. Yeah, we need those two calf, and then we'll attack here in Aleppo. Hopefully, destroy this army, or at least win the battle against both of these armies. So, come on, come on, Lady Luck, help me out. Well, we have so he has a nice general to help us out, and we get some okay rolls. So that's okay, we lost about 3,000 troops, most of them um, mercenaries, and he lost more than that, so that's a good engagement. Now we just need to replenish these numbers and then we can... Oh, he's going for this fort now. Can we get there before him? We'll get there by the 1st of July, or he'll get there by June, so... Let's just wait and reinforce. Let's actually do a... Mm, no, not, not a consolidate. And we now only owe 6,000 men, so we'll replenish these cavalry, but we'll have to rebuy the ones we lost here. But that's okay. Can we... 16th of July, 18th, no. But we can probably... So... They'll get... 16th they will leave, and we'll get there the 20th, so we'll just go and d delete that one guy there. So... They're just walking back and forth, let's attack them. Again, like we are ahead on military tech, so we should be doing more damage than them, and we just got that extra 10%. So we did end up doing like 2,700 more casualties than they... Ooh, and why are they fleeing to here? Oh, they're fleeing for forward. Let's go and take Damascus. And that disaster is ticking up slowly. Is there anything that will actually help us out with that? So, in three years they're gonna lose 10... Yeah, I think they're gonna lose 10... 10 loyalty in three years. So we might be alright. So, 
So, oh, I want to make sure hammer. Is that one of the promises that we need to take? No. Fine. Just want to make sure that uh, Syria don't take any cores that I need. I think they can do that nowadays. And we might as well take that province. Are we protecting trade here actually? No. Like there's, there's obviously some something wrong with the protect trade missions. Uh, they don't go into war zones even though we haven't asked them for it. Um, like it, it's okay that they may, there may be some way to uh, let them not go into a war zone, but it should be something that I choose, not something that just happens without them telling me. Um, and they couldn't at all give any bonus down here, so there's definitely something wrong with trade unless they made some change that they haven't really told about. And I can't really see, like at least they should be telling in the tooltip then that they are not giving any bonus because of that or this. And yes, you can see, even though they are my vassal, they kept this province because it's technically a Syrian core. So we can check that out. Syria actually have cores in all of this land. So we want to make sure that uh, the ones that we need to take for the mission. Um, Sidon, also Tartabus, I think. Uh, yeah, and Tat Tatmora, do we need that one? No. So we can take, let them take that one. But we, not, we need to take Sidon and all of these down here. Um, basically, there's a region called the Regions... Oh, there's another region called... Well, we need to call, take the mostly the coastal provinces here and a few, like Jerusalem, we need to take that as well. Basically, we need to take all of this core we have caught here, or claimed. So, I guess we can see it that way. I want to be, make sure that we take those ourselves. And finally finish this seas as well. A super piece, take caravan. We're gonna have to pay full price for it, but it's worth it. Get that core back, yes. So, oh, did these, these two, they are... All of this are states, yes. Let's get these guys down here. Uh, let's just get them down here. Put them, set them to hammer where they can loot. There is a siege guy here, right? Yeah. So we're just unlucky not to get any progress yet. And in about well about a year or so a little over a year we'll have uh, all of that manpower or we'll be at zero manpower oh and finally two of these are helping out thank you thank you so much it actually took Cairo that's very nice that gives a lot of uh, war. Uh, war score so how much can we take from them let's just check that out we need this, 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 this. So I would like to take Jerusalem, of course, and that gets a nice bonus. I think it gives an extra, an extra, what are they called? Missionary. So I would like to take that, and it seems like that's kind of the maximum amount of uh, land we can take at this point. And then we need to take some money. So we need uh, a bunch more. We actually need to probably need to get to a hundred war score to uh, take that much. But we are not that far away. We still get 18.6 more ticking war score, and we'll get some war score from this province as well. I think we can see that somewhere. Yeah, we'll get a 20, 20 war score, so like we'll get to 87, and we'll get the ticking one as well, and we'll get a little bit for these. These provinces as well, like 13% here, 9%. I actually get a fair bit from the, that that province, so let's look at the loot map mode. I 
as well send these guys there. I think if we set them there, then they can just use the transport with can't they? Why can I not do that? Do they have oh it's because there are too many. Yeah, I guess it's because there are too many. So from here I could use the transport to automatically transfer. That's weird. Why couldn't they do that from that province? Stupid game. But two is have it's helping out. They actually provided twenty one percent participation. That's nice. Means we'll have to lick our wounds for quite a while after this. But as I said, we we want to go for that. Uh, we want to go for those administrative missions anyway, or ideas. So laying back on the conquering for a little bit isn't really that big of a problem. That's kind of part of the plan, although it's not as good this way, but we'll do. Let's go and make sure that we take uh, Jerusalem. leaders die. Oh, he's there. Okay. What about core returns? So we could return. I think we need to take Aleppo. Yeah. Should probably actually take that Aleppo. Okay, we were taking Aleppo. Uh, what if we, instead of taking Gaza, we could return Hema? Yeah, it will cost the same and we need Gaza for the mission, so... And we can actually demand this now. Let's just end this war and start rebuilding. Yes! Take it all! We will get it all. We will risk getting a coalition, but uh, it won't be a problem. Get a lot of O extension, so we'll have to call them right away. Bam! Let's get all of our guys back to Constantinople and find out what we do with them. Uh, we will be paying a bunch for coring with war exhaustion. But then again, let's wait a little bit. Did we. Yes, corruption also changes a lot, and the base are now mad. Let's give them some province. Um, let's give the caravan that was newly conquered, and now they, of course, are. Oh. And we can get a second. Uh, I can't speak today, there's something wrong with my head. A second missionary. I want to be sending it to somewhere that's not where we don't need to call. Um, so, Tarnovo. Send him to Tarnovo. Tarnovo. And then I want to see if we can get away with waiting. Um, We'll gain some corruption by waiting. Quite a bit actually. We'll go down to half army maintenance though. And I wanna save as many admin points as possible because we are gonna be spending 1200 of them on ideas. So 
think I'm gonna let War Exhaustion take down a little bit. And one of our generals died. Great. Well, we'll send you to hunt pirates. I don't think there are anyone right now. No, let's just send you home then. And we will send those trade ships to Aleppo again. Ooh. I actually want to trade check. If, can we now send them to uh, Alexandria, and will they gain a bonus? So now they're down there, and they are now gaining the bonus. So I guess I guess it's not a I, f I guess it's more of a feature than a bug. It seems that you can now only protect power if you have a province. I'm pretty sure it didn't used to be like that, but I might be wrong. At the end, definitely a call already. We can take admin tech ahead of time, but we don't want to do that. Um, we want to call this. How close are this? Oh, so it started over because it went below and then under. Oh yeah, I, I remember now. I think that's a, that, that should be a bug. They shouldn't lose all progress just because they went under and then go over again, but I guess we can just then like use that to just <laughs> buck the system out. But we are getting a lot of manpower out of uh, this high influence though. Just checking that we can't do anything with these guys, doesn't look like it. Um, extorting mercenary extorting locals. During wartime, soldiers of fortune often find ways to make at home with a bit more than they are paid by raiding the land where they are sent to fight. Normally this is not a problem for us when they are sent abroad to terrorize our enemies, but sometimes this happens is hard to break, even during peacetime. Some farmers and travelers in Ottomans in Ottomans have been complained have complained that mercenaries stationed here and have been robbing and extorting them, despite or perhaps because of the fact that there isn't even a war ongoing. Meddling in the rank of mercenaries even ones that, that are hired, it's always a difficult matter. The accusers are unlikely to take the matter further if we let it slide, but the question remains how our society will change if it is allows to continue. So we can purge them for military power, or we can gain one corruption. <sighs> We're gonna gain corruption anyway. But I guess we can do without the military power. Yeah, I think we're gonna do without the military power. Lose so much corruption. Okay, so much. Okay, so we have we have the infantry we need. So let's just split this into two armies, and we'll have to get regain some manpower before we can replace it. But let's go down to like 25% maintenance so we can without corruption a little bit more. So we only get 0 .00, 0 0.06. And please take down. You're taking down by 0.10 a month. So that is like. 20, 30 months. That's a lot. I think we're just gonna do this now. It's not worth waiting that long just to save a few points. And it seems we can almost get that idea as well. So like our mercenary is cheaper. Do it! Let's just see. So army maintenance is 10.84. And now it is 10.8. Not that big of a difference, but I guess we're not paying full for them right now. So we just got a bunch of land from the Mamluks. And we're still building spy network there though. Um, might as well continue. And we also got a lot of power projection from taking from our uh, what are they called? Uh, rival, rival. They are called rivals. How are they looking up here? Well, we still don't really have the points. The same with this. Like the the things, the provinces down here that aren't already uh, territories. Like Aleppo is already part of a ter uh, uh, not a territory, a state. But these 
these down here. I don't want to be making them into st uh, states yet because we want to save up that administrative points. That's a big state down here in Palestine. Five provinces. Maybe they're not too big though. Mm. Six, three. Oh, yeah, it's because they have really low uh, development, some of them. How are we doing on piety? Pretty high piety. But it is about the time where I need to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one and until then, have a good day.